What's up girlfriends? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena and I am a high porosity girl and I post videos twice a week, sometimes three times a week, um, reviewing products on my high porosity hair. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be noti notified every time I upload a video. So in today's video, we are going to be trying another subscriber's choice. So on January, I want to say it was the 21st, I put up four pictures of some different combos of um, products for you all to choose because I'm trying to go through some of my new products and some of my old products, um, but I'm really wanting to obviously dig into some of the new ones because I just got a lot of new stuff due to Black Friday and the end of the year sales and whatnot. So. I didn't know what to choose so I left it up to y'all and the first choice was Nika's Banda and that was a nice wash day and actually this is the this is like eight days um, after using the Nika's Banda products y'all still looks good I mean if I was to kind of have uh, like judged it up during the week and stuff and kept up with it I think I could probably still get away with it for a few more days as you can see, there's still quite a bit of definition, but there is quite a bit of frizz as well. But again, I really wasn't doing anything to it. I think I refreshed only like one time during the whole eight days. So it is what it is. But today we're going to be um, using the second runner up in that whole voting type choice type of thing. And that line is the main choice, the four leaf clover line. So I've had this on the sh in the stash for a minute now and it's time for me it's definitely time for me to go ahead and use these products um, they don't need to be sitting any longer so I'm glad that y'all actually chose this because um, yeah I don't know when I would have gotten to use it <laughs> so we're gonna be doing basically a full wash day with the main choice because I do have the shampoo the deep conditioner the shampoo's already in the shower um, I have the shampoo the mask Okay, I have the leave-in spray. Yum. We'll see how this goes. And then I have the moisturizing styling cream. Okay, and today I think I actually want to try a tweed out for the first time. I've never ever done a tweed out. I usually do a braid out or a twist out. And um, the styler actually says that um, it's perfect for wash and goes, twist outs, and braid outs. So. I think I'll go ahead and try my hand at a tweed out today. So if y'all are interested in seeing how this whole four leaf clover line is going to work in my high porosity color treated hair, then just keep watching. Okay, y'all. So let's get started with this shampoo. This shampoo smells really, really good. It smells like green apples, like a luxurious green apple or something like that. But um, the claim on here are that they that this is non-stripping. It saturates dry, thirsty hair with essential moisture, leaves hair feeling soft and tangle-free, adds lasting moisture and shine, and is gentle enough for daily use. Um, it's ge this gently cleanses and reveals hair's natural luster, helps to balance and restore moisture, strengthen areas to help reduce breakage, revitalizes the scalp, and encourages growth. Approve improves texture and helps maintain health pH, hydrates and locks in lasting moisture for ideal damage, unmanageable hair and fortifies hair to improve elasticity, replenishes and locks in lasting moisture. This is what my hair looked after I washed it. It was a bit tangly but it is what it is. Okay so next we're going to go in with the mask and as you can see this is a very nice and light kind of like kind of on the creamy side. Um, but it's definitely kind of it's loose and if you you know turn the jar on the side it's definitely gonna fall out of the jar so even though it was like a nice almost thick kind of consistency it was still kind of loose and light felt really good going on the hair um, and there was definitely some slip there I was enjoying this mask but let me give y'all the claims really quick of the mask um, 
and cleanse to intensely restore and rejuvenate coarse brittle hair penetrate deeply to, ba to balance moisture from the core improve softness and significantly reduces frizz we will be the judge of that uh, it greatly reduces shedding and breakage helps to replenish hair with essential nutrients and leaves hair feeling soft manageable and more elastic now let's get into the directions because y'all sometimes i've been tripping with them uh, with the directions and i don't read them <laughs> so after shampooing with our hair type 4 leaf clover shampoo apply a generous amount from roots to ends massage into hair especially the ends and distribute evenly cover hair with a plastic cap and sit under the dryer for 15 minutes may be left on with a plastic cap for up to an hour without heat then thoroughly and style as usual use every one to two weeks for best results so i left it on for about 30 minutes that's about my norm um you know with the plastic cap and then under my heat cap and yeah that was pretty much it and as you'll see here as i'm applying it um it did penetrate my strands pretty quickly um, by the time I move on to the next twist, you'll see that, um, you know, the white is pretty much gone in that back twist over there. So, I thought it was pretty decent as it was going on. Um, we'll see how it rinses out. Moment of truth, y'all. Let's take this towel off, which, by the way, I'm going to do better. I need to get a microfiber towel. But, y'all, this mask was everything, okay? My hair was soft. It looked soft. It felt soft. <laughs> um, there was clumpage of the curls. Like, the curls were kind of clumping all together and everything. I was really, really shocked by this um, this mask. And I think I'll be using this more often. Like I said, use my one to two weeks. Or every one to two weeks. I think this is going to be going into the rotation. Look at that. Alright, now we're going to move into this leave-in conditioner. This liquid leave-in. Y'all know how I feel about leave-in conditioners that are like liquidy. These spray leave-ins. I am not a fan. So, even though there's a smile on my face, I'm like... I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm optimistic about using this because I have I have had some success with some spray leaving, but let's just see what this does. Okay, y'all see the expressions on my face. I'm like not knowing what's going on here as I'm spraying. I don't know if I sprayed too much or what, but it started to foam. So, um. In the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, this might be okay because I've had some foamy uh, products before and they worked really well in my hair. So at this point, I was just like, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to, uh, you know, be positive about it. And then after I finished applying it, I was surprised. Look at all the clumpage I got, y'all. My hair, the curls were just amazing. And so I was like, okay, this is going well so far. Let's see what happens after I put the cream in. And now it's time to go in with the moisturizing styling cream. This provides touchable hold and definition to all hairstyles. It restores and revitalizes dry coarse hair, strengthens and nourishes to help reduce breakage, boosts natural hair luster and shine, and is gentle enough for daily use. Y'all, all of these products pretty much smell the same. They smell like a luxurious green apple, if that makes any kind of sense. It smells really nice. Um, but yeah, this cream was also pretty good. 
It was very like smooth and silky feeling. Um, it's definitely a lighter cream, although it it you know it kind of packs a punch with moisture. So I was definitely enjoying that. Um, I'm glad to know that it did not like clump or anything in, um, on my hands or in my hair as I was applying it. Y'all saw all that foam that I had um, from the leave-in. So it was nice to know or nice to see that, um, you know, the cream didn't have any adverse reactions as I was applying it. And so, um, yeah, I'm doing this suede out, y'all. And it's just, I don't know. I'm just like, okay, I think this is going to be a good one. Um, again, this is my first time doing a tweed out, so if you've never seen what a tweed out looks like, this is how you do it. It's a, just a braid at the top, and then it turns into a twist um, as you get to like the middle section. You just do a regular twist going down, two string twist. And so that's what I did. I did that to my entire head, and I'll show y'all what it looks like afterwards. I'm getting some length, y'all. I'm getting some length, and I'm super excited about that. Okay y'all, so I am back. As you can see, I'm in a different space. <laughs> I had to come downstairs. It's real life over here, okay? That's why I had to do the voiceover and the previous clips because stuff been going on in my house and you know, I can't stop what's going on here. I just gotta continue on with what I'm doing. So, real life, okay? Hashtag real life. But anyway, these are the results of the Four Leaf Clover and I am loving them, y'all. This turned out to be not what i thought it was going to be okay i had watched some reviews on this prior to me um doing this wash day and i was not impressed with what i saw okay i thought this was going to be a nightmare and i was just like well they asked for it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna try it we'll just see how it goes so let's go over the products really quick and i'll let y'all know what i really really liked and what i kind of didn't like so we'll start off with the shampoo now the shampoo I feel like was meh, okay? It definitely tangled my hair. I didn't like that. Um, it lathered really <clears throat> it lathered really nicely, which y'all saw. Um, and I feel like it got it did get my hair clean, but this is supposed to be like a manageability line. So the fact that it tangled my hair, I wasn't too, you know, impressed with that. So I could do without that shampoo. Now I don't have the conditioner, so I wasn't able to experience that to let y'all know what that's all about. Um, but who knows, I may buy it in the future, but I may not. <laughs> so, um, but then we're gonna move into the mask. Now the mask I really liked, okay? I felt like that mask really did its job. Um, my hair definitely looked good afterwards. As y'all saw, I had some clumping going on and like it was it felt really good afterwards like i was thoroughly impressed with that mask and i will definitely continue to use that mask um i probably would buy it again too given the chance like if uh, main i want to say my l if main choice has like their 50 percent off sale and i just want to stock up on some deep conditioners i probably buy that mask that's how much i liked it all right and then moving into that leave-in conditioner y'all saw how foamy that stuff was that was kind of weird i was like what is going on with this stuff what is this you know but i find that when that when i have that foam stuff that is what's going to kind of give me a little bit of hold in my hair and um yeah that, i think that's what it did because as i was watching other videos girls were saying like the the cream didn't give them any hold. So now I don't know if I actually OD'd on using that leave-in, which is why it gave me so much foam, but obviously what I did worked because then when I put in the cream, you know, that cream was really soft and it, it just kind of went together. Like there's no flaking at all. My hair is silky smooth, y'all, and moisturized, okay? Today is Wednesday. 
okay and I just took down the tweeds all right now normally when I just do a twist out by Wednesday my hair is a frizzy hot mess okay my roots are looking crazy y'all have seen it before okay but I think the tweed out might be best for me to do actually because it kept my roots smooth okay and then um y'all see the definition here y'all see what's going on look look there's no lies here <laughs> there is no lies here the proof is in the pudding y'all and so um like i did not have to re-moisturize i don't feel like i have to re-moisturize even though there is a little bit of frizz here and there but a little frizz ain't never hurt nobody you know so you know this was a good combination for me this was a really good combination for me okay the, there's shine here okay there's moisture like this the, the hair is still clumping even like look at this i didn't really i can, didn't get to separate everything but there's like the clumping is crazy y'all it's crazy moisturization is there okay definition is definitely there okay like i feel like this was a really really good wash day y'all i want to thank y'all for choosing this because again this would have been sitting on the shelf just sitting there looking pretty and you know we would have never known well i would have never known what this could do for my hair and i am loving it i'm loving the whole last part of the wash day from the the mask to the leave-in to the cream so and i feel like this is a good one to use during the cold winter months as well because like i said the moisturization is there it's definitely there for me and my high porosity hair right so that's about it i have to get ready for work y'all it's about that time i just wanted to make sure i came in and took this hair down because beyond three days usually for me is when it's time for me to re-moisturize re but don't look like i'll need to be re-moisturizing anytime soon i mean this stuff is really holding up for me so plus that's a really good plus for me all right y'all so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time i upload a video and i love and appreciate you all and i will see you in the next one bye